Welcome back to Broken Sylvia, where the ideas are only getting better and better. And this indeed is an R34 Skyline that we're going to fully refurbish. But first, let's have a look at what happened in the previous episode. So it's been a fair few weeks since the previous video, so I'll give you guys a bit of a recap. We revealed the front end that was going to be used on the car and prepared all the body panels for primer. We got those body panels in primer and now pretty much the car is almost ready for paint, but we have to concentrate on the underside of the car and make it brand new again. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So you saw me using a little propane torch to try melt off the undercoating and scrape it off. Now that didn't really work out, but the better method that I found that works is a knotted wire wheel on an angle grinder. Still a very time consuming and messy job, but let's just speed up about three days worth of work into 30 seconds uh, because scraping stuff off is not fun to watch and is not fun to do. Let's do it. So in the past somebody's drilled a few small holes in the boot section of the car. I'm just quickly welding it up and grinding down those welds and before we move on to the next step of preparing the car for the undercoating now that it's been stripped, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of the kit I bought, what is included and yeah there's a lot more to it than you think. So this is the kit we're going to be using on the underside of the car, um, as I mentioned probably already SR Auto Bodies from the UK put together this kit. They've used it, it's proven, so I figured I'd order it and just to make sure that everything's done right. So first off, we've got the gun for applying the underbody protection and cavity wax. We've got one of these thingies for the, um, like a silicon tube, or in our case, it's uh, the seam sealer. Then we've got the, we've got the primer. We've got the, the gloss black enamel, which we're going to brush on. We've got some scuffing pads. Uh, this is a rust converter that they sell. So this is the cavity wax and I'm pretty sure they sell it in an aerosol but because they're shipping uh, overseas, they have to put it in, in these bottles, I guess. So, yep, we've got the cavity wax. We've got an assortment of different brushes, thick masking tape and the Gravitex, which is the underbody protection. Now this stuff, I'm pretty sure, isn't like the, uh, what's it called, the, the bed liner. The bed liner is a lot harder and it cracks. This stuff is supposed to flex, so that's another good, good thing. So we've got more tape, we've got uh, the nozzle for the cavity wax thingy, seam sealer, more Gravitex, and lastly, lastly we've got more Gravitex, 
and a brush cleaner. Also comes with a packet of gloves and I'm pretty sure that's it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be using. All right, so now that we've had a look at what comes in the kit, um, you wanna make sure that the underside of the car is 100% clean before you actually start applying any layers. So you've seen me remove all the old underbody protection and now I'm just using the scuffing pad that came in the kit with a bit of thinness to clean the underside of the car. So once everything is nice and clean, it is time to apply the rust converter. Now, as you can see, that is the rust converter we're going to be using and really you only have to apply it to any bare metal surfaces but because I've got, I'm going this far and I just want to make sure I've done a good job, I ended up using the whole bottle on the underside of the car. I brushed it on into every single corner of the car and of course any surfaces that were left it's bare metal and you know a little bit of rust, surface rust had built up. Um, it turns into like this black color. Now I also messaged Steve to ask him do I have to remove it or do I just leave it on there and he said do not remove the um, rust converter just leave it on there for 24 hours and you can go right over it with the zinc coating or the zinc primer so that's what I did So all the hard work is slowly starting to pay off now that the underside of the car looks very clean, very tidy and coated. So two coats of zinc primer were applied with a brush. Pretty much every single millimeter of the underside of the car is coated now in zinc primer. Next step is to apply the seam sealer. There are a few certain sections on the car that you don't actually want to seal. There are, I'm pretty sure, a few drain holes around the seal panels and the front strut towers are very important on these skylines because the top... Um, tends to rust out so I'm just gonna link the a few albums uh, photo albums to the SR Auto Bodies Facebook page they pretty much cover what you're supposed to um, underseal and what you're not supposed to underseal so if you're doing this job on a Sylvia or a Skyline make sure you check it out so to actually apply the seam sealer pretty much squeeze it out of the gun and use a small little brush to kind of spread it in even though 90% of the car was done with that small little brush, turns out that using your finger um, is a lot quicker and the finish is also a little bit nicer. Not that it really matters because you'll never see it, but anyways. And with the power of editing, it is magically the next day and the seam sealer has fully cured. Looking at this video right now, I noticed that I actually missed a very, very important spot to to seal so I'm gonna have to go back and redo that but that's okay so time to mask up the sections that you do not want to get the underbody protection on that includes even masking on the inside of the engine bay all those little holes because obviously you're shooting the paint from the underside of the car and it's gonna shoot through those little holes straight into your engine bay and also on the body of the car if you don't mask it up so take a few minutes to do that and anyways, this is the very exciting part, I guess you could say, and we're gonna play some music.
So there we have it. That's it for another episode on the R34 Skyline rebuild. If you're here just for a bit of entertainment, music, hope you like this video. And if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing. But for the people that want to know what's going on behind the scenes, um, the next few minutes I'm going to spend talking. So we'll start with this car right here. This is not my car, but obviously you can see it's a Nissan Silvia S15. Uh, this is my best friend Danny's car. He's currently pulled the gearbox out of it. This gearbox is a Z32 gearbox that is found in the 300ZX. So this gearbox has been adapted to the SR20. They shift like a pig, they're disgusting. Um, so yeah, he sold it off and he's already bought himself a Z33, also known as the CD009 or 350Z, 370Z gearbox, the nice six speed, what you want. So where he is right now is he's like, well, do I adapt that gearbox to this SR, or do I part the SR out and put a Jay-Z in it? I'm really hoping he puts a Jay-Z in it because he does drive these cars pretty hard, and obviously a six-cylinder handling 400, 450 horsepower can do that all day, every day, compared to a tiny little two-liter. But that's a decision he's gonna have to make, and I'm gonna try influence the Jay-Z idea upon him. The S14 is my car. That is why the channel is called Broken Sylvia. Um, if you're bored at home, don't have anything to watch, and you're up to date with this build series, check that one out. There's nine episodes in the playlist, and the ninth episode shows how the engine is back in the car, and we've taken it home. It's almost finished. But then you go to my Instagram, and about a few weeks ago, I posted this car without an engine in it. And the reason for that is, is the RB swap in the S14 has now officially been parted out. Everything sold really, really quickly. In about two weeks, everything sold. I got good money for it, very happy with it. And everybody that bought it were, were pretty cool people as well. Helped out a dude, um, pretty much everything to do with my RB swap. I sold him a lot of the parts because he's gonna be RB swapping his S14. So glad it went to a good home. Um, while the R34, um, this, this episode was filmed over the space of six weeks. And at the start of the video, you could see that the car is not in primer. And then about a third of the way through the video, the car is magically in primer and we're stripping the underside. And the reason for that is, is I ordered the kit pretty late because I was doing research on what sort of kits I should buy, whether it's worth me putting one together. And I realized at the end that the amount of time, love, and money that's going into this car, it's not worth cheaping out and buying my own products. For the sake of one to $200 that I would save, to be honest, would I even save that much money? I'm not sure, I didn't really calculate uh, all the products in the kit if I were to purchase them individually, but Steve really helped out. Anytime I had any dramas or a question, he replied through Facebook, so thank you very much, Steve from SR Auto Bodies. I'll make sure to link your Facebook page in the description. He's got a few albums you can check out um, for R33 under seal to see where to put the seam sealer and stuff like that. Um, the R33 and the 34, I'm pretty sure are identical from the underneath, so you can check that album out. Give him a like on Facebook as well, please. Um, but yeah, pretty much we're just getting our hands dirty on, yeah, on any job we can get our hands on. So. Uh, while I was waiting for the kit to come in, I primed the car, primed the rest of the parts. Now I've done the underside. I still need to do the boot, the engine bay, the rear bumper. There's a bit more work to be done before we actually paint this car. The rear suspension, or the suspension in general, behind the camera has to all be taken apart and sent off to powder coating. New bushes and everything have been ordered from Nismo Japan or RHD Japan or whatever it's called. Um, and this is not the final step. There is one more step to be done on this car and that is to brush on the gloss black enamel paint to fully seal it in and also provide a silky smooth finish. Um, so yeah, this is just matte. It doesn't look very good. It looks better than it did before, but it's, it's not there yet. Once that gloss black enamel has been brushed on, oof, it's gonna look tip top. So take the camera off the stand right now and we'll have a bit of a wander around the workshop. Alrighty, S15, gearbox. The intake manner folds off um, for a few reasons. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so totally forgot about this poor little car that's just collecting parts. This is a 180SX. We also have one episode on it. A uh, bit of a change in plans what we're going to do with this car. Also exciting news to some, to some it might not be. My S14 Silvia. Man, this, this poor thing just collects dust. Nothing in it. No engine bay. No engine. See, I did the underseal on this car a while ago now. Turned out very nice. Alright, moving on. Yeah, this thing is sick. Would definitely own it. The wheels are obviously mismatched because he sold his set of wheels and he's waiting for his new CR cars to come in. But um, yeah, under seal turned out very nice. Very, very pleased, happy, stoked with the progress, as I always say. So yeah, the boot needs to be cleaned up, primed. Same as the engine bay. The engine bay has had those two corners, um, sh kind of like a minor little shave just to fix up the holes. Obviously they're gonna get re-drilled for the new intercooler pipes. But very exciting news is once I've decided what gearbox is going in this car, I'm having, having a local um, diff builder, very, very um, talented guy with um, diff ratios and everything. So I've sent him a bit of a list of gearboxes I would love to put in this car for the desired purpose of uh, what I wanna do with it. And He's gonna have a bit of a look through those gear ratios, tell me what the best six speed is to put in this car. Then I'm gonna order that gearbox. I already have an engine for it. Um, even bought an ECU for it the other day. So once the car is painted, we drop the engine in, start doing the fabrication work. I don't know. Should be exciting stuff. So uh, yeah, bit of talking at the end of this video. Something a little bit different. Let me know what you think, if you've even gotten this far, but yeah. All right, cool. Um, hate talking to a camera. See you guys. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunk Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you I talked to a shorty, she bagging the bug And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pot I make it all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe